Should you use Git flow in 2025? This question was certainly the most polarizing in the comments of the last video I made describing the theory behind Git flow and how Git flow branching works. If I had to answer the question, should you use Git flow in 2025? My short answer would be no. But my longer answer would be Git flow does certainly still have a place given certain types of software or deployment models today. If you're deploying software in a sort of a waterfall model or you need to explicitly version uh, packages or, or versions of code if your release schedule is scheduled or if you need to support multiple versions of your software in the wild, Gitflow may still be a really good branching model if you're using Git for version control. Now, Gitflow is not so good for continuous deployment pipelines. You know, merge conflicts are more common than if you were to use another simpler branching model like GitHub flow or a feature branching workflow. But you don't always get to choose which branching model or deployment model your team or piece of software uses. And you kind of have to come in there and adapt. And the nice thing about Gitflow is you're really just talking about creating and merging branches in a specific order. And these are Git skills that are useful for a variety of different branching models, not just Gitflow. And to end this sort of really short video, I wanna just read a note from the original author of Gitflow. I think he does a really good job of describing this sort of polarization. And he says a lot of the things we talked about, but I like his conclusion, which is always remember that panaceas don't exist Consider your own context, don't be hating, and decide for yourself. And I think that's pretty good advice and advice that I agree with when it comes to answering the question, should you use Gitflow in 2025? For me, maybe not, but should you know it? Definitely.